Hello everybody. <laughs> nice to see you again. I know it's been um, quite a few days but um, I've had, as per usual, a number of things to to contend with. Like I said in a, um, a previous video, so much at the moment seems to be centred around or connected to loss in some way, shape or fashion. Mine or other people's that I know. Um, maybe it's, I'm, I'm trying, I'm just trying to think of, think of why, why, why. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? And I, I actually think it's um, when you get to a certain age, that's 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 how it goes. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <sighs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, anyway, <laughs> cheery way to start a video. <laughs> I can hear, hear it in there. Click, 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 click. Cut, cut, cut off, cut off. <laughs> end, end, move on. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Oh, I haven't had a cigarette for nearly a week. I'm going mental. Uh, and it's lucky, uh, lucky that we're parallel, because there's no food in the cupboards. So um, you, uh, I heard, or I've heard it many times, that um, when you give, give up smoking, um, you you tend to eat, um, and that option obviously isn't open to me. So. Um, I don't, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Another friend of mine was, was, keeps banging it home to me about the the um, importance of nutrition and, um, you know, hydration and all that. And I keep trying to say, say, to, say to him, um, excuse me, I keep trying to say, I'm, I'm, I don't keep trying to say to him, I keep saying to him, um, I understand that. Of course I do, I know, all, I don't know all about hydration and, 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 um, and um, you know, nutrition, but, but I know, I know a fa fair amount, um, I know you've got to have it, and, um, unfortunately, th that entails actually spending money to get it, I don't have a garden with, with fruit and vegetables growing in it. Um, and it seems to go in one, one ear and out the other. It's just like, a, I, I don't know whether he's, he's not hearing hearing it, or I, I don't know what the, I don't know what the, um, what the thing is, but, but um, <laughs> he ain't hearing it. It's like, you know, you've got to go out and get this, you've got to go out and get that. And it's like, I keep saying, yeah, I would if I had the, if I had the money, might. Oh, anyway, that's um, that's that. Um, do you know what? It's like the last few videos I have, I have um, made the point of um, sorry, I was distracted by glitter. <laughs> Magpie. Um, I've ma actually made the point of, of saying to myself, right, next video you make, you need to make a list and, and just, you know, a, not a script, because that's not my, my thing, but, you know, some, some bullet points for what of a, a different terminology. And I did do that. I actually, I actually 
put the, and I have just spent the last 15 minutes trying to find these bullet points. I cannot find them. So once again, I'm winging it. And um, I'm, I'm actually a little bit pissed off because, because there were some, some things in there that I, um, I, th I think would be, well, I don't know where, where your comments come in. Um, you, you, you could tell me whether it's interesting or not. But um, I, I thought the, what I'd written down was, I mean, I, I don't remember what I wrote, but, but I remember thinking that, oh, that's, that's a good bit. Oh, and I must, I've never spoken about that before, and I must speak. And I cannot find, I, and you know, I was thinking, when, when, I couldn't, when I was looking and I couldn't find the bullet points, I was thinking, watch, as soon as I finish doing this video, I'm going to do, start doing the, all the uploading thing that takes yeah, so long. Uh, I'm going to start doing all of that, and I'll be leafing through, through, through my stuff, and bang, I will find all the bullet points. <laughs> oh my gosh. But how is everyone doing? How are you? Seems like there's a lot of, lot of doom and gloom around. Maybe it's just me and the way, I, my outlook. But, but I think it think it's I think it's that. It feels like, yeah. Once again, you you let me know. Oh, please, please do me a favour. Please, um, follow, like, follow, like, and subscribe. Oh, please do that for me. That would be you know it'd really help. What do they call it? Um, <laughs> the al al algo. Al, Al, what is it? Al, oh my God, I'm losing it. <laughs> you never had it. Um, boom, boom, I'll be here a week. Is this on? What testing wanted? <laughs> um, algorithms. That's it. Yeah, it would really help with the algorithms if you could, if you could. Um, subscribe like and comment and share if, if you if, if you want to go that far um it really it really would help help me i mean it really does help me when when people do do that it's um you know it's free and it doesn't cost anything oh <laughs> oh god there she goes again there's a little heart down there so you can press that I, i've never actually done no, I haven't pressed it, um, but I don't even know what it does, but I think it's, it's something to do with appreciation. I don't know, I get, I don't quote me, but, but, but it's connected, because I, I switched it on a couple of weeks ago. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but, it, but it's, it's, it's meant to be something positive for the person who makes the videos, let's put it that way. That's as much as I know, anyway. Um, so, that sounds, that's good enough for me, so. Um, so if you press that, that would be great. And do all of the other stuff as well. That'd be really nice. Um, oh well, I wish I had those bullet points. Um, sorry. Um, oh God, I look at the back end of the train smash. Um, I've actually been doing, trying to do this detox thing, which is handy because I haven't got any money for food. Um, usually, usually I drink, well, because I've got no, no money, so I, I eat crisps and chocolate and, and stuff like that. When you grow, yeah, I, I know, don't come for me. I know, but when you're poor, that's unfortunately all one can afford. Um, but. I actually decided to do like this detox, like a proper, because my kidney, like the pain in my kidneys has been so beyond. So I've been just, um, I did a um, 48 hour fast and then I started just drinking water. So I've been on a wa water diet for, for 24 hours, so 
so 36 hours, no, 48 hours of, of, of fasting and then 24 hours of, of water and then today, so that was the last kind of week, so today I've, I've uh, I made a flask of, a flask of tea made with um, oat, oat milk. So I've um, introduced that in, but the, the, thing, the weird thing is, um, it tastes so rich. It's like drinking full fat cream. So it's, maybe I should get the, um, <laughs> when, I get, when I get some coins, um, I'll get the um, semi skimmed variety. Um, this is all deeply fascinating for you, I'm sure. Um, oh God, those bullet points. I'm so pissed off. What were they? Um, they were really, really... Um, see, I, you know, I have all my, my um, notes and th these are not the right ones. Um, oh, this was something something I was going to do on another video, I think. I, I, um, it was about... You know, like like they're talking about um, cultural appropriation and all all of that, and I it just sparked this memory um, of of my mom and, and me when I was really little. She took she took well, me and her went on the bus to somewhere called Edgware when I was really really, really little uh, to see this film called Soldier Blue. I remember it, and it was all about the Indians and the um, you know Custer and the Last Stand and all all of that period of time in America, when when the white man was coming over and and taking all of the land off of the Indians and, and putting them in reservations and doing all of that, and I remember I always always used to be on the side of the Indians. I don't know I don't know why, well. I don't know why. That's a ridiculous thing to say. Of course, I know why. I know what. In retrospect, I, I I was on the Indian side because what the white person was doing to the Indians was totally wrong. Totally wrong. Oh, they used to, Oh, oh. Anyway, just awful. And I used to love the Indians. Oh my God, I used to love the Indians. I loved what they wear, the, the Apaches and the squaws and all of that, with the, the breastbones and the feather and the headband and the plaits. And oh my God, that look, they look so incredible. And they'd like swing up onto a horse and start galloping like bareback and like, oh, they, and they were like, masters with the bow and arrow they'd be like coming on stage stagecoach going like oh I can't wait to get home I'm gonna see my family and <laughs> but um and I was I was thinking of all this and I remember before I used to go to school in the mornings I used to um be at the at the sink like washing up my, my breakfast stuff um, and I would look down out the window towards the end of the garden and I used to pray with every fibre of my being that an, an Indian Apache brave would come out of the foliage at the end of the garden the woods, well, there, there are woods at the end of the garden. So the, the, the brave would come out of the woods and walk towards me and come and take me and take nuts and <laughs> Oh my gosh. Not take me, you know, that. I mean, like, scoop me up and throw me on the horse. And, and I don't know where we would have gone, Edgeware. <laughs> But I used to believe, I remember I used to believe it, or pray, you know, pray for it. I, with all my being, I wanted that Apache brave to come out of the, out of the, the, the woods at the end of the garden and come and get me.
Oh, I suppose a lot of always must, but I think, I think it all comes back to my, my family working back, work, working, you know, back in the days, at, like uh, at the film studios. When we first came to England, my mum worked at MGM. So I'd go to all the Christmas parties and be there at my mum would work weekends and everything for the over, overtime. And, all of that, so she'd take me with her, and I'd be basically just free to walk around the studios. So I'd be like, and especially at the Christmas parties, we'd, we'd be on the back lot. Well, I'd be on the back lot and stuff. And like, you'd go in the morning, and, and the whole, the, this is at Christmas, and, and my family worked at all the studios. So my mum worked at MGM, my grandparents worked at ABP EMI, which was another studio across down on the high street. Um, my granddad worked at, oh, what was the other one? Oh, there was, there was another um, film studio. But, but they basically worked at all the film studios in this area, but my mum worked at the best one, MGM. So you'd go in, in like you get, my mum would drop me off early in the morning and you'd spend the whole day. You know, I must have been about five, six, no, about five, yeah, five. So a bit young, very young, um, and I'd spend the whole day stay there, you know, and all the other kids, and they, 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 you know, you'd go from one thing to the next. So it was like a structured, structured day to entertain, entertain, entertain the kids, and then like there'd be a, a big lunch, you know, with a, with a little hat. I, I mean, it was incredible these parties they put on for the, for the staff of the of the. You know the you know the staff that worked behind that weren't seen on the film. You know, not the stars of the film. But any star actor not worth their soul knows that they're just the thing that people see. Most people don't realise there's a whole pyramid of people underneath them, holding that star aloft. And without those people helping you to be what you are or what you want to be, <laughs> you might as well give up. If then if they're not for you, if the crews on the films aren't for you, no, no, it's not going to work. And English crews are renowned for their um, discernment, should we put it that way. So anyway, th so we'd, ha we'd have the whole, the whole day and I remember they part at one point during the day they would take you to one of the screenings they had like cinemas obviously because it's a, I mean MGM was so huge it went on this is the English yeah, MGM I'm talking about that used to be up the road um, it was so huge like the back lot where they have all the outdoor scenes went on for miles I mean it was it was just gargantuan and um, they'd be like uh, I, and I, I I got to see it because part of the day um, that we that we had like you know when we, when we got dropped off there'd be um, a section where everyone all the kids would be taken into one of the theatres the cinemas really beautiful cinemas I mean like not not like cinemas in, in the high street I mean these are like for executives and all that anyway I mean it's just such a wonderful thing for a kid I mean it's just you know mind blowing so they'd take us into into this cinema and, and it was kind of like Saturday morning I don't know if any, anyone's old enough to remember Saturday morning pictures which I used to go to um with the cereals every week and like you know um it was kind of, kind of like that. But they would have all of the new cartoons, all of the new shorts and everything that hadn't been released yet. The kids would get to see, us kids would get to see all of the stuff that hadn't been released. And I remember one year, they put on um, Sleeping Beauty. That's the one with the apple, right? The witch in the apple? Yeah, it is, yeah. And I was only young. And when, when that witch came on with the apple, I started screaming. 
I totally lost my shit. I went absolutely insane. I was frightened of the witch and the apple, and she was like, eh? <laughs> uh, you know, that, that walk, I think, yes, I think it's Walt Disney. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But that, I went mess with, I, I went so mental in fact, they had to take one of the girls who, who was like, you know, chaperoning the, the kids, had to take me out of the cinema. And it was only like a quarter of the way through, through the whole, because, you know, you didn't just watch one film, you watched several, several features. So she, now, now she had to entertain me, because I couldn't go back into, into, into the cinema. I mean, I had, I, I lost it. I mean, like, lost it really big time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but, as a consolation, she now, her and me, she took me on a tour around the back lot. And not only the back lot, she took me around all the sound stages and all the different productions that were filming at the time. So I got to see, uh, I remember walking into one sound stage and it was all done like, like there was a blue lagoon in the middle of the, in, in, these sound stages are usually like aircraft hangars, massive. And they had, it was like on another world, it was like Star Trek or something, it, it wasn't Star Trek, but it was that kind of thing, you know, like on a different, different world. And there was like a blue lagoon and the cut, the, the detail, the, these people that used to work at those studios were craftsmen on every level. I mean, they, they would put, the detail they would put into, like if they had to make a flower, to, like, like say the, the Wizard of Oz when they're going through the poppy field or whatever, they would hand make all of those I mean, poppies w one by one, you know what I mean? They would hand make everything. The, the, I remember seeing something um, just a couple, a couple of days ago about, that film in particular, that there was a, a scene where it was fall and all of the leaves were falling and they had to bring all of the leaves from Connecticut and New Hampshire to Los Angeles and glue them one by one on the trees, the, the fake trees that they, or, or the, the dead trees that they had put in the studio and they would glue every single can you imagine sitting and gluing all of those leaves on those God. <coughs> anyway so the attention to detail in these in these aircraft hangar you know sound stages on the back lot was incredible and i was like walking around with her holding her hand just like wow oh, oh and it the Colours, especially I remember that one with the, the lagoon, was so intense. So she took me around all of all of the sand stages, and then she took me out onto the back lot, which is the outdoor set, uh, sets. Like around the other corner over there is the East Enders. Albert Square is just literally around the corner from me. Um, but compared to what I'm talking about, that's like a postage stamp. Compared to MGM was acres and acres and acres of and i remember there was like a, a new york street like totally working with yellow cabs and traffic and it, i mean they're all fake so if you walked behind some of you know unless it was they were doing interior shots if you walked behind some of the some of the facades it would be just poles and, and scaffolding holding up and it just was just made to look so it was like it's just the facade but some of them if they had like interiors like i say to film they would actually build whatever they whatever they need but the 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 craftsmanship and the it, it was just mind-blowing i mean it really really was mind-blowing why they knocked down that studio in particular I think it's a crime. Whoever's on the government in Boreham, in you know Elstree and Bournemouth, should really should should be ashamed of themselves. That they could have made a fortune doing tours around around that place. I mean, it was a national monument. Some of the best films that have come out of England and and 
I remember like seeing seeing all, I've said it in other videos of, on here. I remember seeing Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton walking up the, up the high street and and stuff like that. And then oh, I just remember one thing I did write down. I remember meeting. I don't know if any, anyone's old enough to remember this guy called Bert Bacharach. He wrote all those Dionne Warwick songs and everything. I remember I was like a tiny tiny little kid. Uh, anyway, before I say that, uh, so. The the whole st uh, studio thing is this, like, I got used, I was telling that story because I got used to fantasy being a part of my life, and fantasy was so much more colour involved, and it was uh, having to go back to real life and reality, I hated it. I absolutely hated it because I wanted to live on the sound stage, you know, where everything was... Technicolor and and just perfect. So that's kind of fucked me up, really. <laughs> to truth be told, seeing, seeing all of those um, that fantasy, and so I've, that's why I've always had a really good imagination and um, creativity and all of that because I think it was simulated so intensely at such a young age for for consecutively for such a long time. Um, well, I mean, th through all my school years, but it, my mother was always, and, pe and grandparents were always working at one studio or another, so I would always be going, I would always take my friends to the commissary at lunchtime, we'd get an hour for lunch, and instead of going to uh, places in the high street, like other kids, I'd take, take my girlfriends to, um, to the, um, to the studio, to, to the um, to the commissary. Um, what was I saying about? Uh, yeah, like and, and seeing all the, all of those stars. I mean, they were always up up the high street. Always. You know, and they were really friendly because it was like a, in those days it was a tiny little village. In fact, that's, we still call it the village. You going up the village. You're going up the ville. Uh, and that's what it was like, you know, in the middle of the country. So that's why they, why they built studios here. Because the air quality, the air quality when they did te the tests, was so pure, uh, you know, for filming outdoors and you know, all of that. That's why... Well, I found out, that's why they, they built the studios here. Oh, this video is getting really long. Uh, if you particularly want to hear about and me talk about anything, um, please p put it underneath. And um, I love reading your comments. And I'm not, I'm not so good at the moment because I've been really ill and stuff. Um, I'm not so good at replying at the moment, but I am reading them, and um, I've, I've, I need to catch up and 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 do my little heart things and stuff. But um, trust me, I do, I do see them and I really really appreciate it and uh, I really appreciate you and your time and um, everything that you you um, you give to me um, I really do appreciate it thank you so much and um, I look forward to hearing from you and please please hit the like and subscribe and all of that stuff it's such an easy thing to do it doesn't cost you anything you know, it doesn't mean anything, you know, you're not going to get bombarded with, it's not like I put up videos like five times a day. <laughs> um, thank you so much, um, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>